Okay, there's been some commentary in places I visited about this particular event. Um, Bound Dragons is a four platform event FOB with riot suited guards. Uh, people are having trouble, so I decided to take a stab at um, running this event in my own style. I mean, perhaps people who view this video can draw some inspiration because um, I've seen a lot of folks in forums I participate in having trouble. So I decided to make this video with my first ever commentary. So let's um, get to it and see what, uh, what shakes out. The uh, task for this event, the neutralized three security guards, Fulton three security guards, neutralized nine security guards, shoot the weak point of a UAV at range of 60 meters or more, successful infiltration, successful infiltration, no kills, no alerts, successful infiltration, staff rank bonus 1.01 or higher, and uh, successful infiltration within 480 seconds. So it's a little more complex than other events. Um, people, as I, people have trouble with the riot suit guards. It takes more than one shot to knock them down. Um, the goal, of course, is not to kill anybody, but uh, we'll see what we got here. So I go with uh, research and development for primarily for the precious metals. Um, I don't use the riot pistol in this video. Uh, since not everyone has the right pistol, but I can always go with the precious metals. And uh, when I earn my S++ staff for this event, this is the event I ran the most. This is the map I ran the most. So research and development always um, is helpful when it comes to earning precious metals because they're hard to find and you got to grind a lot of platforms to get enough uh, research and development. So. I start at the default start point and my loadout. Got the uh, primary weapons, the S1000 Air S Stun Shotgun, Grade 7. Uh, it's my primary weapon in every kind of FOB event that I do, from uh, events to regular infiltrations to running Rambo through Security Challenge and stealing nuclear weapons. Now, the Grade 8. Uh, it's more powerful, but it also takes two shots to knock out the riot suit of guards. Not worth it. Uh, the resources are very expensive. The MRS-73 non-lethal sniper rifle is intended for shooting the weak point without damaging the UAV. Um, it has no effect on the guards, and it is basically for one task and one task only. Um, I have dolled it up with a very simple setup, nothing fancy. Um, it's only one task, so I don't really go all out for it. I, I prefer not to use lethal weapons on this particular event, because if you miss, the UAV gets blown up and your missing task goes out the window, and we don't want that. So non-lethal rifle it is, um, just a grade 3 suppressor, the lowest level uh, non-lethal rifle. Very, very simple um, and if you miss obviously you can uh, keep firing as it's not bolt action so that's a plus now for the secondary weapons I have the Mach 37 submachine gun this is essentially a self-defense weapon in case I get uh, spotted I can knock out the AVs um, normally I may not even going to use this but since I'm not using the right pistol We'll just go with something lethal. Bionic arm obviously doesn't count because we're using we're not using snake. I have smoke grenades. Uh, I always carry smokes no matter what. Sleep grenades, grade five, very simple. Um, everyone may have these. Not everyone has the grade sevens. Um, the grade sevens are also expensive, and we want to minimize sort of minimize our deployment costs in this particular event. Um, You'd have to run many medical platforms to refill your resources. Active decoys have a hidden benefit. Um, we'll see that shortly. It's um, a unique item to carry with you. Uh, 
Um, it comes in handy in many instances. For items, I have the night vision goggles always. I use a smoke box. You can use whatever you want. Um, Narcocyanin, grade five. I don't need any more than that. Um, basic. Again, relatively simple loadout. Not a lot of uh, expensive items. Because again, not everybody may have these particular items. Now, wormhole device, always, always full uh, wormholes. I've tried balloons on this and it doesn't really work. Um, the destruction techniques just don't really work for me. My character is a uh, creeping buzzard, is my best um, espionage point collector. She has a 1.90 uh, staff rating and an S in support, which means her full tin extractions are faster than Venom Snake or any other character. And I prefer to play with a female character, so I could use a 2.0 soldier, but I prefer to use a female. And we'll start at 0600, never at night, never for regular infiltrations, never for stealing nuclear weapons, never for events, except the Skulls Attack, which I prefer because uh, the nighttime and the mist effects work really well together, but otherwise, always 0600. So Creeping Buzzer is about to step off the helicopter. It's um, four platforms, riot suits. Um, it can be intimidating, but um, this video is intended to show people that they, uh, they can be taken down with uh, a pretty fair amount of ease. And uh, we'll load up our weapons. That shotgun shell, the extra shotgun shell really comes in handy. And we'll run up the stairs. Again, always the default, always those 600. And here we go. Dive. And two shots. Reload. Always reload. I can't stress that enough. And the guards notice something's going on. The rain hole will draw them closer. Subject on board. Knock them out. Leave the rest to us. Reload. Knock them out. Reload. And this one here. Just kind of kind of squirrely because of the railings, but I took them out, no issues. And uh, three extractions is the first. Roger that. Hands up. Don't do it. Um, required event, and we'll knock them down, wake them up, keep them down on the ground that way they won't come after you. Same alert. Um, before you're ready to deal with that alert. And I don't know how to dolphin dive, but I do know how to chain dive together. Yeah, I'm a pro player, I know. Kind of silly, but I don't know how to do that in terms of dolphin diving. Um, just not my thing. Now, here comes the first deployment of the collective decoys. Aim it at their feet, fling it like a frisbee, and there you go. Knocked out. Although obviously the, the active noise will draw the guards. So you just throw them at their feet and knock them out. It's literally that simple. Now you don't have to pacify an entire platform. Um, of course the goal is to get nine uh, soldiers down. Well, one of the mission of tests is to get nine soldiers down in this particular instance, you know, I'm not going to worry about the other guys on that platform. I like to mark people um, for this event just because those riot suits can be hard to deal with at times. So I want to know where, where people are just in case something goes haywire. And this often is the case. Um, it's never the same every time. So, you know, always mark and make sure you know where your enemies are. And uh, knock them out. Two shots. I missed one, so that's an extra shot. Knock them down. No, I'm not going to do them. And I'm waiting for the UAV to appear. And uh, 
Oh, it's just the other one I'm waiting for the UAV. And they, uh, another uh, decoy and the weak point. Very simple. That's all there is to it. There's nothing else. You don't have to kill the UAV. Just hit it. Hit the, the weak point is actually the green light area um, underneath the actual armor portion. Um, you can aim for the gun, but uh, the actual weak part, weak point is the green uh, green light area. And you mark the enemies as always because research and development, sometimes people start moving around kind of funny. And uh, I'm gonna make sure you know where people are. Since this is daytime, I'm not gonna turn the power off. And when I normally do infiltration, I turn the power off no matter what. Um, in this event, it's not necessary since there's no cameras that are out there for me to be aware of. Only on bases with custom mines and custom cameras do I turn the power off, especially because of that. Otherwise, I prefer to turn it off anyway. So we're climbing. It's very simple. This is the route I've taken many times for this event. Um, Provides the least amount, of, least amount of resistance in terms of enemy force strength. I don't have to worry about the UAV since I marked them. I know where they are. And just keep climbing. And go uh, to the top, top, top level. I can see the UAV coming, but I'm not going to be there when it gets there. So I'm going to lose where I am. Take that, buddy. Yeah. That's all there is to it. And I'm not there. And there's one guard left. Put him down. And that's it. Infiltration successful. Four access, and you're done. And the successful infiltration. And here comes the rewards. Eight out of eight. Nine thousand four hundred and sixty-one infiltration. That's quite a few. My one hundredth and one thousandth infiltrations came on this event, so I have some history with this event. Riot suits are kind of fun to, to work against sometimes. Nice rewards, they all go into my piggy bank. And because I use Creepy Buzzer and her 1.90 um, staff bonus, I get a nice little extra, extra chunk on the SBNR score, which will come up shortly. And uh, that's it. So we got uh, all tasks completed. And since I've done this event several times, I only get 30 points for every infiltration, but the rest of it is very simple. I hope people can draw some inspiration and uh, 